Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to showcase the new Spellbinders card kit. We are going to take a look on what's included and then I'm going to share 10 cards. It is a kit that I absolutely recommend if you are after a monthly subscription. It is always packed with products and you can make way more than 10 cards that I'm going to share. So every time you get a leaflet with some ideas on how you can put a few, a few cards together. And let's start with a sticker book. It includes lots of sentiments, bigger and smaller, and they are all specialty stickers. You, hopefully you can see that uh, there is foiling on them. There is also an alphabet as well as little uh, circle stickers that you can use to embellish your cards. In every kit you will also get 10 envelopes with 10 pre-folded white standard cards that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. You will also get um, adhesive in a form of foam squares as well as a double-sided tape roll. You will also get in this kit those uh, golden sequins that you can use to embellish your cards or if you would like to create shaker cards. And let's take a look at the dies. Now the dies this month uh, create a little fox which I will be using on one of my cards so you can see how you can put the fox together. It also gives you sentiment dies. If you put them together you can write happy for you. And there are dies included that cut out tiny little leaves and flowers. Just like every month, there is a clear stamp set. This month it comes with uh, an adorable little fox. There is some foliage as well as uh, flowers. And you can mix and match the words to put together different sentiments such as you are pretty, you are the best, you are kind and so much more. There is a 6x6 paper pad included. You can see here all the designs on the outside, 20 different designs, 2 pages for each design, so you get a paper pad with 40 different pages. These pages are not double sided, and on some of these papers there is golden foiling that gives them an extra sparkle. And here is another pack of stickers, this time you get the alphabet as well as numbers, and um, this is a uh, foam sticker which means that it is quite thick and it has a lovely foiling matte gold on top so hopefully you can see how thick they are that will give a lovely dimension on your cards and at the same time they match with all the foiling on the papers and the cutouts let's take a look at the cardstock that you get there are nine pages in different colors and one of them is gold now my favorite in all those kits are the cutouts, so I'm going to clean up my area, I'm going to pick up the bag and take everything out, so you can see what's included. Now I like to spread them around on my table and create uh, areas of uh, things that are similar so that I can have an idea of how I can put together cards. So here they are all together and you can see in this area here I have all the sentiments and the big words. Here I have all the leaves and the flowers down there. Here are some bigger cutouts that stand out on their own as focal points. You get some circle ones here. The houses, the butterflies are all together down there. So by spreading them out I can have an idea on how I can put things together to create cards. And let's start with the first one. And I will work with this lady here. If you notice, the pattern paper that I chose has the same flowers as the flowers on her hair. So I'm going to use uh, my rectangle dies one inside the other to cut out a little frame. I run it through my die cutting machine. And just because this paper is quite thin, I'm going to use a foam tape at the back all around the frame so that I can add some dimension and at the same time it's going to make that uh, thin paper sturdier. I have a panel out of the pink cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. All the cards I'm making today are super easy to recreate and you can make them just by using products from the kit. So I have some foam squares at the back of the lady. I'm going to place here about at the center of my uh, card and then on top I'm going to stick that banner which I absolutely love. I love the size of it and how it matches perfectly with the pattern paper that I used. Now I'm going to pick one of the stickers and since I had dimension on all of the other elements I decided to add a foam square at the back of that as well and I'm going to tuck that in between the girl and the banner. 
I will also bring some of the gold leaf die cuts. I will use my scissors to short them, shorten them a little bit and then tuck them underneath as well. This is the finishing touch. You can embellish the card a little bit more if you want. You can add those golden sequins. And here are some close-up photos. For the next card I'm using the pink pattern paper and on my right you can see that I picked up some flowers and another girl. I lost the footage on how I made this card, but it's pretty simple. At the bottom of this panel I added another piece of pattern paper and in between a thin gold strip. I created a flower arrangement with uh, the same type of flowers and a couple of leaves and also added that uh, die cut that says loved. And then I tucked the girl behind the flowers. Now to finish it off I'm going to use a sticker that says cherished and I'm going to stick it on the right there and call this card done. Here are some close-up photos and I'm so sorry that I lost the footage on this card. Now let's move on to the next one and this time I'm going to use this gorgeous pattern paper with a wood grain on top. I'm going to cut it to size making sure that I don't leave the center at the center of the panel. This way I will have more interest on the background. I'm using my white glue at the back and stick that on top of my card base. And then you can see I have picked a few of the flowers and some of the leaves and I'm going to create a flower arrangement. First of all I'm playing out with the die cuts, trying to decide how everything is going to go. And then I will commit and start sticking everything down. For some of the elements, just like always, I'm using foam scores at the back to add dimension. And others are going directly flat on my card base just by using my white glue. I picked a sentiment from the sticker book that says you are my heart in a gold falling on top of black that gives a lovely dimension. I also added a secondary sentiment that says just for you again with gold foiling. And I'm going to finish it off by adding some uh, of those uh, gold sequins at the center of my flowers. For the next card I used the blue pattern paper which I am cutting it to be a smaller than the standard card panel. I stake it on top of my white card base and at the bottom I added a row of houses and you can see the flying bear on top. To finish off my card I am going to use one of the banner die cuts. The houses that complete the scene are uh, completely flat on top of my card but the bear as well as the banner have foam tape at the back. Now I love having different textures on my cards, so I have a piece of uh, white thread here which I'm going to thread it through that hole at the banner. You can tie a knot if you like, I'm just going to leave it as it is and just chop off the extra tails. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit on this card and I'm going to use an element that is not included, so you can leave it as it is and it looks beautiful, or if you have a um, cloud Die, you can cut out a few white clouds and stick them here and there to complete the scene. I cut out three clouds because odd numbers are always more interesting on a card and uh, I like to chop them off and place them at the edges. I think it looks more interesting this way. And here are some close-up photos. For the next card I'm going to use the polka dot pattern paper and I'm going to use a leftover of the pink pattern paper that I used in the previous cards. And I used the gold cardstock to cut out a thin strip of paper since I like to stick that in between the two pattern papers. I think it brings everything together better. Now my card base is ready, I'm going to embellish it with three of the die cuts, so I picked up the word beautiful, the fox, as well as a speech bubble, and I'm just going to put them together. Without any foam squares, this is going to be a completely flat card, but I absolutely love the result, I think it looks really modern, and that fox is just adorable. Here are the close-up photos on this card. And let's move on to the next one. This time I'm using the white and green striped pattern paper. 
which I'm going to stick on my card base again by using my white glue at the back. And you can see the panel is slightly smaller than the standard card. I always like to have a border. From the die cuts I picked up uh, those uh, flowers again and I'm creating another flower arrangement. I can never have enough of those uh, flower cards. I think that flowers are perfect for any occasion. So depending on the sentiment that you decide to stick on top, you can use it for pretty much anything. So here I picked the word moments and I used foam square at one side so that I can level it up with a dimensional flower. And underneath I'm going to stick one of those labels, which are absolutely adorable, again by using some uh, foam tape at the back. So the complete sentiment reads, happy moments. For the next card I'm combining two pattern papers, the lovely one with the flowers as well as the pink one. I think those two go beautifully together. And again I used the gold cardstock from the kit to cut out a thin strip of gold, which I'm going to stick where those two pattern papers meet. I absolutely love the look and I did that. I repeated this design on three of my cards today. I picked the word happy from the die cuts and I added foam squares at the back for dimension. And I also have a few of uh, the leaves and a butterfly which are going to complete my card. And I'm never afraid to use my scissors and cut out smaller parts from the cutouts so that I can make them work for my projects. So I created a little cluster of leaves there. And to finish off my card I'm going to bring in the sticker book and I'm going to find for the word birthday. It comes as a sticker that says happy birthday, but I'm going to make it my own again. I'm going to use my scissors and cut out the word happy since I have the bigger one on top there. Now this is green and it fits exactly on top of the letter H. So I think it is the perfect match. And you can see here some close-up photos. Now let's make another card with those houses, just because they are super adorable. For that I'm combining this pattern paper that has houses on top, so I think they are the perfect match. And on top I'm going to create a little town. For the first cutout I'm going directly on top with a glue, so this is completely flat. For the second one I'm using foam square at the back, so that I can add a house at the front for some dimension. Now I have a tiny little uh, pink heart from the die cuts, which I'm going to stick coming out from the chimney. I also have this uh, circle die cut that says a lovely saying for home. It says home is where your story begins. I'm going to stick that there. So I create a lovely cluster, which I'm going to finish it off with one of the banners. And I'm using foam tape strategically on one side of the banner since I'm going to place it on the dimensional house and I want to make sure that these are leveled up together. And I will repeat the same design element as I did on the blue card with a bear. So I'm going to thread a white string but this time I'm going to tie a bow. For the next card, let's create the fox with the dyes included. So I'm using black, white, as well as the red that was included in the kit. And I have here all the pieces that I can put together. Now there are little uh, details that you can add on top of the tail and on her chest. I cut out those from white cardstock. So you can see I'm going with a red fox today. It's going to look absolutely adorable. This is such a beautiful uh, uh, focal point on a card. So this is the head. And I cut out uh, the base uh, from white cardstock and the top from the red one. There are bits and pieces that you can add, like the tiny little nose. You can also add those uh, pieces on the paws. I went with uh, black for that. I'm going to stick the head on top of the main body. 
For everything I'm using my white glue, I find it super easy to do that because you can slide the pieces until you are happy with the placement. And finally all that's left to do is to stick the tiny little dots for the eyes. For that I used a piece of double sided tape at the back so now it is sticky in between those holes. So I stuck inside the tiny black dots for the eyes as well as the ears at the top of her head. Now this pattern paper is just stunning, it has falling on top of it, so beautiful. I placed that on top of a red panel which is the same cardstock as the fox, so it kind of brings everything together. And for my sentiment I'm picking letters from these foam stickers and I'm going to spell the word hello. These stickers are quite forgiving, if you don't press too hard you can lift them and replace them so I will make sure, I will use a T ruler later on to make sure that this is completely straight and I'm going to complete it by adding a secondary sentiment underneath. And finally, for the last card for today, I have a small white panel here that I added foam square at the back and I'm placing it on top of that green pattern paper. Again, I use the same banner as I did for the first card and on top I'm going to stick some lovely die cuts such as the butterfly, the glass dome and a cup of tea. And what I love about those die cuts that come in the kit is that you get the same design twice so you can either recreate the same card one more time or you can make completely different designs. I finished my design by adding a couple of gold hearts and here are some close-up photos. And now let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I made for today while playing with products that were included in the December card kit by Spellbinders. Now I absolutely love pattern papers and I do love the die cuts so I had lots of fun putting all those cards together and if you notice I haven't even used the stamp set. So let's see after the 10 cards what I have left. So I have lots of those letter stickers, I do have lots of gold sequins, the double sided tape, I do have the dies that I can cut out foxes again and again. From the sticker pack I used only a few of the sentiments, so I have many more. I do have tons of those die cuts and I can recreate the same cards or make even more designs and you can see that although I used pattern paper for all my cards, I still have lots and lots. I haven't used the stamp at all so I can come up with more ideas on how to use the stamp set. And the sentiments can be used again and again on future cards. And I do have lots of cardstock that I haven't used at all since I was working on the pre-folded white card bases. So I totally recommend this card kit, I think it is a great value for money, you will enjoy it just like I do every month. So here are the photos on all the cards that I made for today, I hope you had fun that you got inspired, don't forget to leave me a comment, to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.